Welcome to Vogel Timeline, our quarterly news report keeping you up to date on the latest happenings here at the Vogel 3 and 4 site near Augusta, Georgia. As you can imagine, building the first new nuclear in 30 years is no easy task, and as we get farther along, many new and exciting milestones are happening. In May, the containment vessel bottom head, or CVBH, was lifted into place in the nuclear island for Unit 4. Weighing more than 1.8 million pounds and standing nearly 38 feet tall, the component was fabricated on site by CB&I. The successful lift was completed by the heavy lift derrick in just four hours. It takes an incredible amount of time, effort, and coordination to ensure that all of the components arrive safely and on time here at Vogel 3 and 4. Many of the larger components, like the deaerators and large steel plates, arrive a little further south on large ships at the Port of Savannah. The Port of Savannah is the largest single terminal container facility of its kind in North America. It may be big, but efficiency and sustainability are key priorities for the Georgia Ports Authority. In fact, by electrifying the ship-to-shore cranes, the Port of Savannah saves over 1.8 million gallons of fuel annually. The ocean terminal, where many of the Vogel 3 and 4 components enter the country, covers over 200 acres and provides 1.4 million square feet of versatile storage space. Recently, we went to the Port of Savannah to speak with Chief Operating Officer Griff Lynch and Senior Director of Administration and Governmental Affairs Jamie McCurry about the key role the port plays in the Vogel project and in our state. Port of Savannah, the Georgia Ports actually has two terminals. Uh, one is the one you're standing on now is the Ocean Terminal, which is more of a break bulk facility. And then just up the river, we have a massive container terminal where we move 35,000 containers a week or 3 million uh, TEUs a year. Uh, we've handled a lot of the project cargo for uh, Plant Vogel. Uh, we have heavy lift capacity where we can handle just about any type of cargo, whether it's an odd shape or size or weight. Uh, this is the type of facility that can be customized to handle pretty much anything. The Plant Vogel project for us started about 18 months to two years ago and we have these massive pieces of equipment that come off a ship that looks just like the one you see behind me and there's a lot of coordination that goes into the handling of those pieces. The partners involved would be the rail side, Norfolk Southern, we've got of course Georgia Power at the lead but we're also dealing with Westinghouse and there's a team of people that have been focused on this project for that period of time. Vogel itself will of course make possible additional job creation by having power supply uh, I guess in abundance for the foreseeable future for the state of Georgia, which is a critical component of job creation. And for the Georgia Ports Authority, we've been able to handle uh, a great amount of the cargo for that project over our dock. So we've supported the project as a service provider, but we all benefit from the job creation that the plant and of course that the ports provide on an ongoing basis. Thanks, Griffin Jamie, for that fascinating look into the Port of Savannah and the partnership with Georgia Power. Meanwhile, back here at the site, the Unit 3 cooling tower is reaching higher and higher into the summer sky with a current elevation of more than 300 feet. The Unit 4 tower is on the way up, too, at more than 50 feet in elevation. Our co-owners played a key role in making the Vogel 3 and 4 project such a success, so we thought you might like to know a bit more about them. Over the next few months, we'll introduce you to Oglethorpe Power, MEAG, and Dalton Utilities. Oglethorpe Power is one of the nation's largest power supply cooperatives, serving more than 38 electric membership corporations, which collectively provide electricity to more than 4 million Georgians. Oglethorpe, our largest co-owner, owns a 30% share in Plant Vogel. We had the chance to sit down with Mike Price, COO of Oglethorpe, to find out a little more about this dynamic company. We feel that we have a really strong co-owner group. Uh, we've worked very closely with Georgia Power, MEAG, and Dalton Utilities for many, many years. And we think when you're undertaking a project of the magnitude and the duration of Vogel, it's very important to have those key relationships like we do as co-owners today. We feel like the Vogel 3 and 4 project is a great project for Oglethorpe Power, Oglethorpe's members, the other co-owners, and the entire state of Georgia. 
It's really great to get to the site from time to time and see the project going vertical, coming up out of the ground and all the progress that we're making. Uh, it's very impressive. Uh, it's such an important project for our country, for the future of nuclear power. And the most important thing we can do as co-owners and with our contractor is get this thing right. Thanks, Mike. It's because of dedicated people and great partnerships like the one with Oglethorpe Power that Georgia Power continues to be successful with projects like Vogel 3 and 4. But success is not just about what you see here at the site. It's also about the regulation and legislation. There are a team of folks not on the site making this big dream a reality. The construction of Vogel Units 3 and 4 continues to gain attention around the world, especially here in Georgia. That's why it's important for the project to be open and transparent for Georgia Power customers and all stakeholders. The Vogel Construction Monitoring Report, or VCM, is filed by Georgia Power every six months with the Georgia Public Service Commission. The report is a status update on every aspect of the project. Here to talk with us about the VCM process and the benefits it provides to customers is David McKinney, Vice President of Nuclear Development. The Vogel Construction Monitoring Process, or the VCM process as we describe it, is uh, basically the, the process whereby the company presents to the Public Service Commission the dollars and, and the cost that have been spent for the project. And so every six months we meet with the, uh, uh, commit, we file with the commission and uh, in that filing we present the previous six months cost as well as a status of the project which includes a forecast for the schedule and for cost. So this VCM process is good for customers in that it gives the company the opportunity to uh, present in a very transparent way the status of the project. Included in that is a, a, the opportunity to, to communicate a lot of the benefits for customers like the fact that the impact on customer rates is going to be significantly less than, it w than was expected when the project was approved. As part of the VCM process, the company puts forward every six months the costs that have been incurred for the previous six months. To date, uh, $2.2 billion has been presented and reviewed and approved by the Commission. We just filed the ninth and 10th VCM process together, and that totals approximately $389 million that was spent over the course of 2013. This, get, this process gives the Commission the opportunity to review in great detail the cost that the company has spent. Thanks, David, for the behind-the-scenes story on the other part of this vast project. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thanks for joining us on this exciting journey as we bring plans to reality. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time for more great stories here on the Vogel Timeline Report.